what is going on with everybody today it is uh sunday we've just been getting some around the house chores done so far went ahead and mowed the yard didn't get any shots of that but uh mowed the yard got some sprinkling done i think i'm gonna reset my sprinklers and turn them back on other than that we're not working on anything today uh, we do have some stuff to do to Allie's car and we got some stuff coming up that i got to do to the truck and uh yeah, I don't think we're going to get to that today, so we're just going to actually push the reset button. As you can see, I've already gotten started. Started pulling stuff out of the garage and uh, working on cleaning this wreck up. Man, this place is dirty. I have worked out of it for a while now and uh, just kind of ignored it, to be honest. So without further ado, I'm just going to set up a time lapse and uh, get a little time lapse for you guys. See if y'all enjoy just a time lapse of watching me kind of clean and rearrange my garage. That's all I got going on today. So let's get y'all set up and get started.
All right, well, you know, all the time lapse, we kind of got this done. We did not get any of this done. We got some stuff to go do, so we're gonna have to call it at that. Uh, I'm kind of happy with how this turned out. I'm just, probably saw me standing there for a second looking at it, just, I mean, probably split second on a time lapse, but I just don't know what to do. I don't know where to put stuff to make it convenient and have room still. Ideally, which I think it works at least, because now my idea with the way the bikes are now is the Dyna can park there and then the Street Glide can park right here if I know I'm taking the Dyna, which will leave kind of the turnaround to back it up, go forward, pull it back over there. I'm just looking for the easiest way to make all that work. Um, it'll definitely make more room once I get done with this bike. I plan on fixing that, the hydraulic cylinder in it went bad, the seals went out in it. So I plan on fixing that motorcycle lift and honestly just selling it, getting rid of it. I don't use it as much as I really thought I would. So that'll free up a lot of space whenever that time comes. I've thought about just putting it out now and just putting it up for sale and uh, just working with it on the ground because you can't really, I don't have a jack or anything to where I can take the bike up off the tires while it's on the lift. And then like I said, the hydraulic part of it's busted. The seals blew out blew all the fluid out and of course the hydraulics if you don't have pressure hence seals going out then you don't have lift so right now that thing doesn't even lift the only reason that shadow is really on it is because it conserves space in this garage which you can tell that we need every bit of it so yeah i'm trying to figure that out because that will help as far as if nighttime stuff comes and i need to work on ali's car say I can actually get it at least part of the way into the garage so that I can still actually do videos at nighttime because that's been part of my hard hardship, I guess, of doing this is if I have to do anything late at night, being out here in the driveway, y'all really can't see anything that's going on. So I always kind of had to wait for daytime and then since we're outside, it's, you know, wind noise, all that kind of stuff, which I've been trying to figure that out too. get maybe a wind sock. I use a GoPro Hero 8, so... Maybe I can get like a windsock to put on the GoPro to help alleviate some of that issue so it'll be more enjoying to watch or listen to. Hopefully a better audio is the key to that. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at on this. Uh, yeah, we made really good progress. I think that blue box back there, I'm going to see I started hanging all of my cleaning products and putting them in there. I'm going to get that cleaned up. I need to go through my black box. And I need to clean the black box up. I need to organize it and I need to transfer some stuff from that box to that box. And then I'm going to use that, I believe, as my detailing box. Once I get that all figured out, we can do like a walkthrough, I guess, a walkthrough on the box and show you just kind of how I set it all up and where I put everything in my box just to maybe give some people some ideas on what to do if they would even want to. I mean, it's the same thing basically you buy from Harbor Freight. It's just a blue point box that I got for a heck of a deal off of the snap on truck whenever I was a uh, mechanic. And uh, yeah, I ended up training, training a blown up Cummins motor for that black box. Well, it wasn't blown up actually. It was crack block. Still ran and drove. It just wouldn't hold any coolant because it was a 53 block, which is known for cracking. So it wouldn't hold any coolant. So traded it for that. And yeah, I've been using that as my main toolbox now instead of using that small box. So I need to kind of move. I still have kind of had tools strung back and forth. All my major stuff that I use all the time is in that black box now. But I need to get all the rest of the little piddly stuff out of that box and rearrange that one, which I need some ideas on for that. So if y'all have any ideas of, um, you know, how to rearrange toolbox, man, feel free to take a video. Uh, I'll leave my email in there. I don't know if you can find my email on uh, YouTube or not. But yeah, I could leave my email so that y'all can contact me and send me a video how you rearrange your toolboxes, how they all look, how they how you organize them, how you make it useful for everyday use. Because I'm kind of a, you can't really tell, but I'm a, I guess I'm a little bit OCD. I like to have stuff in its spot. It's kind of like once it gets past a point, I'd kind of just stop trying, you know, if I just, you know, work out of the garage as y'all have seen in the last solid couple of videos this garage has been an absolute nightmare it's been a wreck it's just ugly i mean sh just stuff everywhere so i'm happy to at least get this done we'll figure out what to do with these bikes how to park them how to make it easier 
maybe that other concept that I had before where they're both over here was a better way to go about it. As you saw, I pulled the lawnmower in, put it where the dyna's sitting, and I don't... Maybe that's the answer. Maybe that'll be a good way to do it. But I don't know. So anywho, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great, amazing rest of your day. Uh, we definitely got some more content coming. Like I said, we got stuff happening on the truck. We got stuff about to happen on the car. Should have happened this weekend, but we went and looked at some other things and that didn't work out, obviously. But, uh, so the car's still around. But, yeah, we got more content coming. Thanks for watching. Come check out some of the other videos. And, uh, yeah, like I said, y'all have a great rest of your day. We're going to go enjoy some family time, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.